Welcome Capricorn. I hope you guys are having a blessed start in your month of June. I hope everything is going well and you guys are safe. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. You're watching GRU Tarot. This is going to be for my beautiful Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Capricorn. And so Capricorn, you guys know that these readings can pretty much resonate whenever they're called to you. And only take what resonates. Just get rid of what doesn't, right? And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with your reading, Capricorn, and see what Spirit wants to tell you for the month of June. Let's see what Spirit wants to tell you for the month of June. And so I still have my ongoing contest on. So if you have the most views and likes combined, you will have a bonus reading in the next month. And yeah. So please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you're updated on when I upload, okay? What does Capricorn need to know, Spirit, for the month of June? Okay, this one wants to come out here. Three of Swords. This is a tough energy, Capricorn. As you can see, the swords are going into her heart. And her eyes are closed because she's really thinking about it. Maybe all of these words, it's about heartbreak. There may have been a breakup. Or there's all of these overwhelming thoughts that are very painful. Nonetheless, this usually is a heart with three swords in it. So there's a lot of pain. Emotional pain. Mental pain. And so, let's go ahead and continue on with the Ethereal Visions deck, Capricorn, and see what else Spirit wants to tell you for the month of June. Month of June. And um, I did anoint these cards just earlier, but I didn't do the pre-shuffle, so I'm going to hear how I shuffle them. It's not that great. <laughs> okay, so, Spirit... Shuffle these cards, one sec. Angels go. Okay. One more cut and shuffle here. shuffle again and spirit what does Capricorn need to know for the month of June what can we tell spirit for the month of June the ace of wands what else can we tell spirit for the month of June page of cups and the page of cups is reversed and then we have the Four of Pentacles reversed. We have the Three of Swords upright. And we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, Capricorn. So, with the Ace of Wands upright, clarifying by the energy of the three of swords as your main energy there's a lot of heartbreak and sadness over what was a great passion someone that you were passionate about has broken your heart or they are also heartbreak broken as well too they were passionate about you and very heartbroken there is a page of cups in reverse. There's this feeling that this message of love is not coming through to you, Capricorn. And with the four of pentacles reversed, you are not holding on to this. You are not holding on to this heartbreak 
that someone did not give you this cup of love or you're not trusting this person giving you this cup of love you could be dealing with a water sign which is cancer scorpio pisces you can deal with a fire sign which is leo sagittarius or aries or an air sign as i see here as well which is libra gemini or aquarius or another earth sign so everybody's here but you are not holding on to this. You are wanting to get out of this Three of Swords energy, this heartbreak. You're wanting to get out of this heartbreak. But it's hard because it's here twice. You're very heartbroken. You're very heartbroken. And you're not feeling good about yourself as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Because this is your energy with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Or you could have been dealing with a Taurus. But it also, I also see that someone had a lot of, has a lot of great passion for you. But they have broken your heart. They don't feel worthy of giving you this cup of love. And with the pentacles here, it feels very unstable or someone is really keeping things to themselves or they're letting go of this feeling of holding on to something that they thought was stable. And that is the energy I feel from you. You're letting go of something that you were thought was stable. But someone who wants to come in with this, like I said, cup of love, but they're feeling that you're not going to take it. But they do have a lot of passion for you, Capricorn. And they know that they have broken your heart and your trust. And that you are very upset with them with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So let's go ahead and continue on with this story and see what is going on. Spirit, what is going on with Capricorn for the month of June? What else is going on for Capricorn? Spirit, we have the Star Upright. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Strength card in reverse. We have the King of Cups upright. And we have the Hangman in reverse. So I feel here, Capricorn, with the star upright, that you are going through a lot of healing at this time. And you're having this sense of passion that you want to regain for life for yourself in order to get out of this Three of Swords. I feel that you're moving away from something that was turbulent, that you didn't trust this person coming in giving you this cup of love. They didn't, they weren't uh, honest in the sense of giving you this cup of love. Or they weren't able to express themselves I feel this is also a lost opportunity. The one that got away is the feeling from here. This person wants to give you a cup of love, a small cup of love, and you didn't take it because it was breadcrumbs in the sense. It was only a small cup of love and you didn't trust it. You didn't trust it with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So you feel like you're, I feel like this is your energy of, I'm not going to take this. It has to be all or nothing type of energy. And you're feeling weak though. Even though you are strong in what, strong in what you've been saying to this person, it really breaks your heart. And your strength is low, I feel. Your confidence, your happiness, 
And I feel also anger here with the strength card in reverse. And you may be dealing with a water sign, which is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. doesn't have to be. But this person wants to be this King of Cups for you. But I feel like with this Three of Swords upright, that they really broke in your heart. They could have been entertaining other people because there is, it's a three. And so they could have been um, caught. You may have caught them with someone else. Or you may have found out about something that this person was already in a relationship and this has broken your heart. So it was either this person was cheating or you found out something that has really devastated you. So right now I feel you're just walking away from it in a sense. I mean, this is the Six of Swords. I know it's not walking away, the Eight of Cups. But you're walking away from this emotional turmoil into calmer waters here. You see, this is like emotional turmoil. All these words and all this what has been said and all these emotional thoughts. And it's very turbulent here with all the waters going against the ship. And um, you're wanting to just turn away from all this BS and go into more calmer grounds and water. But you feel like you don't have the strength and you feel devastated because this person wasn't honest and wasn't holding on to you. And so you feel like you had to let go. You're not holding on to this relationship or this person, what they're giving to you with this page of cups. You're not, you're not taking it. You're not holding on to it. But I also feel there may have been money involved with um, the other person. The other person may have been greedy and went into some type of relationship where money was involved. And they weren't able to express themselves. They were very charming um, and saying all these lovely words of love. But they weren't expressive in how they wanted to really tell you how much they loved you and have all this passion. And so with the hangman in reverse, I feel like you and also this other person is surrendering. It's taking this time out to really, to really reflect with the hangman in reverse because I really have broken your trust and hurt you with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So Capricorn, let's go ahead and continue on with your reading. What else does Capricorn need to know, Spirit, for the month of May? What else can we tell Capricorn for the month of May? What else can we tell Capricorn for the month of May? King of Swords, what else can we tell Capricorn for the month of May? King of Swords in reverse. Oh, this is the Knight of Swords. I apologize. Knight of Swords and then the King of Swords in reverse. What else? We have the Lover's card upright. We have the Three of Cups. And then we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Okay. So with the Knight of Swords, I feel that... Your person wants to come in with some sort of truth to you. They want to heal this relationship they have with you because they have this new sense of passion that they want to reignite with you. They want to restart, but they can only give you breadcrumbs at this time. They can only give you so much and you are just not trusting it. You're not trusting what this other person's offering you. And you're just wanting to get away because they may have said so many things that how this relationship was going to go. Or they may have fed you lies. And now you're just going away from this. And you may have been dealing with a 
air sign, doesn't have to be, but this person is a liar. This person knows that they have lied to you with the king of swords, with a knight, yeah, with the king of swords in reverse, because the knight of swords is right here, where they do want to come in with, where they want to come in quickly with some truth. And they know that they have lied to you. They know that they have really let, let you down. They have hid some truth from you. And with the lover's card here, you may be dealing with a Gemini, I feel, but it doesn't have to be. But, um, or you may be dealing with an Aquarius. I have all these air signs here. Um, here, with a, with a lover's card, this person is needing to make a choice, needing to make some sort of choice. You may have given this person some sort of ultimatum, I'm feeling. And so you're trusting your strength of what has happened here, of you just letting go of what you thought was a stable relationship. And um, with the lover's card too, there was a lot of passion again. This was very much a passionate relationship with the Ace of Wands here and the Lover's card. But you found out, this confirms it now, about some sort of third party, whether they were already in a relationship or you have caught them cheating. And this King of Cups has a lot of emotional feelings for you. And with the King of Cups coming out upright, this person loves you. Not only has passion for you, but loves you. But they know that they have lied and broken your heart. And that's just really confirmed here with the Three of Swords. And with the King of Pentacles in reverse, they feel that they're not able to give you this stability. They're not able to give you this, this love, this stable beginning the stable gift of love they're not they they feel like they're just not able to do this but in the hangman in reverse they are really reflecting and surrendering with to spirit pondering about what has happened and where to go next but at this time they are stagnant and with the queen of pentacles in reverse this could be another story but I feel that this could also be that they're dealing with a karmic who is also an earth sign, which is like yourself, a Taurus or a Virgo, that they're dealing with someone that they're very unhappy with. It doesn't have to be another earth sign, but they're dealing with someone who may be um, a gold digger and is keeping their finances trapped. And that's why they're in this um, hangman mode where they're stuck in this relationship. So I feel that you have found out that they're already in this relationship, but they're unhappy in this relationship. And they're figuring out how, how to get out of this relationship that they're unhappy with. In, but they feel stagnant because of some financial or assets that these people share. They may have a family, um, but at this time, your, your person does not feel stable. And this person does not have the strength and can only offer you a little with a page of cups in reverse. This person has a lot of passion for you and you're needing to make a choice. Okay, so let's go ahead now. Um, I want to confirm this lover's card. Let's just go ahead and confirm the lover's card spirit. What can we tell Capricorn for the month of June spirit with the lover's card? The high priestess, right? So they may be dealing with a Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. But they're dealing with someone who is very manipulative and secretive. And, and also plays the victim. Someone who is 
maybe cheating us on your your person as well you know there's just no emotions here really with the queen of pentacles in reverse and the king of pentacles but they're dealing with someone who is very nasty and you know maybe using some sort of black magic over your person doesn't have to be this is not for everybody but someone who is not very spiritual not very spiritual i feel very materialistic yes with the queen of pentacles in reverse but not very spiritual and that's what they want to tell you with a lover's card that they really choose you but they feel that they may have lost you with the strength in reverse okay so let's go ahead and get an oracle visions card for you capricorn let's get an oracle visions card and see what else spirit wants to tell you for the month of june what does spirit want to tell you spirit for the month of june spirit what does capricorn need to know for the month of june spirit what does what does capricorn need to know for the month of june Fifteen, which is six. So it's a very spiritual type of card, I feel, because there is a lot of purple. There's a lot going on in the ether. There's a lot going on maybe with thoughts. There are maybe some letters coming through that this person wants to deliver to you, and it is about love with a red rose. And there's birds flying in the background. They're so free. Someone wants to become free. And out of this hangman type of energy. You know, they're trying to surrender, in that sense, to spirit. And five equals six. And with that, that is um, an energy of... I feel there's a lot of thoughts going on. It's like memories and reflecting and and reading love letters and what was love at one time but let's go ahead and see what the um what the book says for number six tranquility at peace i go to nature to be soothed and healed and to have my senses put in order john burroughs we have experienced a difficult period but the trial is over. Hold on a second, I'm reading a different card. <laughs> that was six, but let me go to 15. I, I guess I needed to tell you that, that part as well, though. The trial is going to be over, and it does equal to six. So we have to take that into consideration because it is part of the reading. So stay in tranquility and peace, take time outside this one says farewell goodbyes and closures this is a time of letting go i feel and you have done that with the six of swords forever and forever farewell cassius if we do meet again why we shall smile if not why then this parting was well made william shakespeare julius caesar 5.1 so this card portrays a farewell, which might be a final parting or a temporary goodbye, a tragic loss, or simply a turned page. Could be leading to a new future. The woman's sober expression gives us no clue as to the content of her envelope. A farewell message, yes, but when received or to be given, the nose the rose suggests a possible lover's separation but it is a final goodbye or a temporary one until next time either way as any airport scene will demonstrate departure lo lounges tend to be sadder than arrivals the birds flying in the background suggest that a return is in the future our lives are a constant flow of farewells to people places and things some with regret but some with enthusiasm as they are replaced with new options. We always have choices and free will, yes, but there is karmic cy cycles that are at play 
and things happen as they should in divine timing. So remember that. When these magnetic forces of love that are meant to cross, they will. It's your decision. Of, it's going to be your decision of will I continue and take it. We will always be connected. Very beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. So, but let's go ahead and do some Dorian Virtue cards for you, Capricorn. Let's get some Dorian Virtue cards for you for the month of June. What can we tell Capricorn for the month of June? Worth waiting for? Okay. That's my dog. She still has her problems, but she's, you know, she's coping. Finances and career. Romantic feelings. Passion. So worth waiting for divine timing. Just like I had said, divine timing is at work in your love life. So the hanging man is very important because it is about let go and let God as you surrender. And there's only so much you can do what is going on in the current story. So divine timing is the temperance card, Sagittarius card. And spirit is here. See the angels? They're here. It's divine timing. It's that time to heal yourself and to believe and to live in the moment. So, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Things are changing and shifting. And so with this, I believe it's the same thing. Things are coming in. I mean, it feels like they have, someone has opened this note. This is like the aftermath of this. People are together. They're sharing stories, it looks like. They're sharing their time together. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment of whoever this may be. Okay. Could be the past, could be into the future. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And we did see that also with the, the four of pentacles in reverse. Someone is really holding on to their finances. And I feel that since they're dealing with this queen of pentacles in reverse, that's it's not you, but I told you, like I said, it's another energy. It's in reverse. And since it's in reverse, it's more of a karmic energy that's coming through that is keeping your person suspended. In the, as a hangman and these two people are very unhappy so they're they're living this life of unhappiness no growth two sad people your person has romantic feelings for you your feelings are real and worth exploring so you can reflect and remember, this person is also doing that with this, with the Ace of Wands and the Lover's card. As we have clarified, they're not happy in the relationship they're in. And they're having, they don't have this string, but they feel that they have lost you. And so, this is also in the number six card where it's like the Six of Cup where they're feeling all of these romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And the last card here, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So yes, yes, this person has so much passion for you with the Ace of Wands and the Lover's card, which is also a passionate card. But it's also, like I said, a card of choices. And so know that this person has all this built of passion for you and they think about you a lot but they feel that they have lost you. So, let go and let God, again, I have to say that. Ace of Wands, 
they have passion in the heart of the reading. It's the strength card in reverse. They feel that they have lost you. They don't have the strength. Someone is very angry in the situation that they're in. You may be feeling anger too because you have the Three of Swords upright. Three of Swords here. There's a lot of heartbreak, anger, and sadness. And you're going through these motions. Going through the motions. So you do have the star card here, which is healing, which is the process that I feel you're in, and this person is trying to get themselves into it. So well, they want to heal with you. Okay. So let's go ahead and do some affirmations now for you, Capricorn. So spirit, what can we tell Capricorn? For the month of June. What can we tell Capricorn for the month of June? I am perceptive. My intuition is powerful. When I am unsure, my intuition is sure. I strengthen my intuition by trusting it and responding to its impulses. I am perceptive. I feel that you know. I feel that you know what is going to happen. And when you do, you manifest and create that. So know that you can manifest whatever it is you want. You are a Capricorn. Okay, so this is I am perceptive. And I will go ahead and do yogi tea for you. I drink a lot of yogi tea. I love yogi tea. I hope you guys do too. Or you should try it. It's really good. But they always have these beautiful messages on their hang tag part of it. And so I want to share it with you and see what we get. Forgiveness is an act of consciousness. This is beautiful. There is a lot of hurt here on both sides, really. And so when you can forgive yourself, Capricorn, this person can too. And then that energy radiates to the people around you too. To also go within and look what it is that they need to do to clean it up some stuff some gunk in which they need to forgive themselves in order to let this light of love come in so remember to always bring love into your heart and into your aura and this is a time to heal healing is always welcome like i had said before Heal from all of these experiences. They are, after all, experiences. And let go and let God. And understand what is meant to come in, you can create. I am perceptive. Forgiveness is an act of consciousness. So, Capricorn, this was your reading for the month of June. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it was beautiful. And... Um, I have my contest, as you know, so if you have the most views in our likes, you will get a second reading in the next month. And please like, share, and subscribe. And I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Take that time to heal. Maybe get something like a rose quartz, a stone like a rose quartz that you can meditate with. And um, yeah, so this was your reading. It was beautiful, like I had said. And be safe out there. And I love you guys, and I will see you next month. Thank you, Capricorn. Bye.